Schmitzenstein, but you can call me Schmitty. Also, you may call me Schmitty. I had a dream that you were all together. Well, it was actually a nightmare, but let's get started. This is round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's and decide who wins. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Okay, here we go. Starting things off, the only job you would do for free. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Next up, the least scary horror movie, Night of the Blank. It's voting time. Next in line, something you shouldn't buy off of Craigslist. Time to vote. Up next, what an alarm clock could say that would wake you right up. Vote on your devices. That's the end of round one. Let's take a look at the scores. <laughs> On to round two, where all points are doubled. Doubled, I say.
take a look. First one, a terrible name for a clown. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Next one, the name of a really bizarre diet that just never caught on. Time to vote. Okay, next one. The name of the worst baby doll. It's voting time. And next is, what do ceramic garden gnomes do at night? Time to vote. Round two is no more. Let's see the damage. <laughs> Welcome to the last lash, the final round. Stakes are tripled. There's just one prompt, and you're all getting it. Our prompt is... You know you're in for a bad taxi ride when blank. Let's see the responses. Okay, in round three, you get to award three votes. You can give them all to one answer or spread them out. It's over. Let's take a look at the final scores.
Smitty. That's spelled S C H Mitty. Oh, this is gonna be fun. And if it's not, it's your fault. Let's do it. Time for round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. The first prompt is You should never blank and blank at the same time. Okay, pick your favorite. Worst thing for an evil witch to turn you into. Vote on your devices. Coming up next, another use for cooked spaghetti. It's voting time. <laughs> next one, the best way to start your day. Time to vote. <laughs> Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. Two is straight ahead, and that means all points are doubled. Start this show. First up, the worst pizza is blank style pizza. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite.
next in line. Your first decree after being named Supreme Ruler of the Earth. It's voting time. Okay, next one. The worst person to receive a sponge bath from. Vote on your devices. And next is the name of a clothing store for overweight leprechauns. Time to vote. That's the end of round two. Let's take a look at the scores. This is round three, the last lash. Points are tripled and everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. Your last lash prompt is something you should never say to your mother. Everybody's in. Vote away. That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard.
it is time for a ride on the Quiplash Wagon. Let's see who we got. Wow, there is a really weird energy in this room. Let's just try to get through this, okay? This is round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Take a look. Our first prompt is the first thing to do if you're attacked by a shark. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Next up, the worst thing to try to sell door to door. It's voting time. Coming up next, the creepiest thing to whisper in somebody's ear as you're hugging them. Time to vote. Next one, the Skittles flavor that just missed the cut. Vote on your devices. That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. <laughs> it's now time for round two. Everything is worth double, twice as much.
Okay, here we go. The first prompt is the big conspiracy that nobody even suspects is blank. Okay, pick your favorite. Okay, next one. The name of the band in which every member plays the spoons. It's voting time. And next is what Smokey the Bear does when he's not fighting forest fires. Time to vote. <laughs> Next in line, what do you guess is an unadvertised ingredient in most hot dogs? Vote on your devices. And that's all for round two. Fire up the scoreboard. <laughs> and now, round three, the last lash. Point values are tripled, and you'll all be answering the same prompt this time. Your prompt is... Helpful advice you would give to Super Mario. And here's what you did. Hand out your votes. That's it. Let's take a look at the final scores. My name is Schmitty, and I'll be your host today. We know you have many choices when it comes to games, and we're happy you chose Quiplash. 
Yep, yeah, yep, I think I already know who the funny one is. Well, we'll see if I'm right. This is round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. First one. How do you like it? Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. And next, the worst material from which to make a pair of pajamas. It's voting time. Coming up next, new requirement at amusement parks, you must be this blank to ride. Time to vote. <laughs> next one, why are geese such jerks? Vote on your devices. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. <laughs> Time for round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one. Okay, here we go. First up, the best way to scare a burglar. Okay, pick your favorite. Next in line, Sometimes after a long day, you just need to blank. It's voting time. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, next one. A reason to get into a fist fight with a koala bear. Time to vote. And next is, if you'd never heard the term great white shark, what might you call it when you saw one for the first time? It's voting time. <laughs> Round two is now complete. Let's see who completed it well. This is round three, the last lash. One final chance to catch up. Point values are tripled, and everyone gets the same prompt this time. Our last lash prompt is... Three things MacGyver needs to make a bomb. Here's the board. Give out your votes now. That's all. Now for the final scores. Whiplash, Schmitty, Post, enough with me jabbering, let's go! Alright you guys, hold on to your butts, and also your phones, cause here we go! Time for round one! You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go!
Take a look. Starting things off, a rejected tourism slogan for Des Moines, Iowa, home of the blank. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Next up, the worst invention that starts with spray on. Vote on your devices. Next in line, a movie that should never be made into a theme park ride. It's voting time. Coming up next, what the boogeyman is afraid of. Time to vote. Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. <laughs> now round two, where all points and bonuses are doubled. The drama. Let's start this show. The first prompt is the worst thing to put on a pizza, sent in by Move Murphy on Twitch. <laughs> and next is a real weirdo would fall asleep to the sounds of blank. Vote on your devices.
Okay, next one. Four leaf clovers are lucky, but if you find a five leaf clover. And next, the weirdest thing a restroom attendant could offer you. It's voting time. We've reached the end of round two. Let's see what happened. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. Points are tripled and everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. The prompt is... The worst college football team, the Fighting Blank. Take a look. Vote with your votes now. That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard.
Hey there, I'm Cookie, and if you're here to battle aliens in a dystopian version of Los Angeles, you probably will not enjoy this game, but welcome. Great, three players. The best things come in threes. Musketeers, stooges, celebrity deaths. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. You can play along for your own personal score and vote for your favorite lies. Let's do this. <laughs> This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. And everyone gets a defibrillator, which removes all but two answers on any question. Save it for a tough one. Select the category. Okay, here's your first question. As part of an experiment funded by NASA, Andrew Iwanicki was paid $18,000 to spend 70 days in blank. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that you think will fool the other players into thinking it's true. If you get stuck, for half the points, you can use the Lie For Me button and get a suggestion. Do it now! Okay, now find the truth and enter it on your device. Alright, let's see what everybody picked. And the rest of the board goes unselected. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, the Beastie Boys are credited with coining the term blank. Write your lies now. Okay, there's a truth out there. Find it. Okay, let's take a look. And that means... Alright, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Police in Dixon, California often have to respond to 911 calls for the same dumb reason. People in the town keep blank. Enter your lies now.
Okay, which one's the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? And that means this lie didn't get picked. round two where all point values are doubled and remember to use your defibrillator if you need a little jolt of help use it in round two or lose it time to pick a category okay here's the question no joke the sixth item under the other income category on the irs website states that if you receive blank you should include it in your income input your lies now Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Let's see what everybody selected. This may go down as the worst sting operation in the history of man. And we're done. Select the category. Okay, here's the question. Twice a week, a club consisting of over 400 University of Michigan students meets at the school library to blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. All right, who picked what? Here's something you might be interested in. And look at what we have left, one single lonely pitiful lie. Time to pick a category. forever okay here's the question a holiday inn in panama city florida has a strange tradition during spring break at 11 o'clock every morning the hotel wakes up their partied out guests by blank write your lies now
Hi, I'm your host, Cookie, and I'm starting to regret this 40-year contract I signed. I see we have two smart players this game and one total moron. I think you know who I'm talking about. Oh, and uh, anyone else can get in and join the audience. Yeah, you can play along for your own personal score, and you can like your favorite lies. Let's do this. <laughs> This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. And you've got a defibrillator. Use it to remove all but one lie and the truth. And just one defibbing per game. Select a category. Okay, here's your first question. How do scientists determine the age of a blue whale? Easy, they count the layers of its blank. Now use your device to enter a bluff that you think will fool the other players into thinking it's true. If you can't think of anything in time, use the lie for me button for half the points. Do it now. Okay, here are your choices. Find the truth and touch it on your device. Okay, what did everyone pick? That's why you see a lot of self-conscious older whales using humongous Q-tips. And just one lie goes unpicked. Alright, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. As part of an odd courting ritual in Austria during the 19th century, single women would store blank in their armpits during a dance and then afterwards offer them to guys who caught their fancy. Enter your lies now. Okay, there's a truth out there. Find it. Okay, let's take a look. Don't ask where they keep their slices of cheese. And we're done. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. If you go to 77 degrees, 51 minutes south, and 166 degrees, 40 minutes east in Antarctica, you'll find one of two blank on the entire continent. Input your lies now. Alright, where's the truth?
All right, let's see what everybody picked. You all nailed it. The firemen are trained to slide down the pole, but never to lick it. And nobody picked the other lies up there. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. And remember to use your defibrillator if you need a little jolt of help. Use it in round two or lose it. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Raising the bar for men everywhere, Seal proposed to Heidi Klum while inside blank, which he built himself. Type in your lies now. Okay, where's the truth? All right, who picked what? Once inside an igloo with a seal, it was not nearly as romantic. And let's put this last one out of its misery. Select a category. Okay, here's the question. In 2005, a man in Manchester, New Hampshire was charged with stealing from a Wendy's. Interestingly, the man's name was blank. Write your lies now. Okay, find the truth. Let's see what everybody selected. In a press conference, Mayor McCheese promised to work across the aisle with other fast food mascots to crack down on crime. And that's it. Take a category. Diagnosis high. Nomophobia is the fear of being out of blank. Input your lies now. Okay, take a look and find the truth. All right, let's see what everybody picked.
A phobia that makes certain spots in my apartment terrifying. And nobody fell for this one. You have arrived at the final fibbage. Everything rides on this one, final question, and it's worth triple. Anybody can win it. Take a look at your final fibbage question. The name of the secret menu item at McDonald's created by swapping out the regular beef patties in a Big Mac for two quarter pound patties. Type in your lies now. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Okay, let's take a look. Well, don't you feel foolish. And that means this lie didn't get picked.